William Price from South Africa Tourism. Uh, welcome at SOMET in Europe. Um, you had a very um, a great uh, a presentation as always. Uh, can you sort of summarize uh, what you discussed with the audience? Um, very quickly, it's, it's really just about having the guts to make mistakes and to learn from them. And just looking back, seeing where we've come from and hopefully trying to build a team that has the kind of environment that they can make mistakes safely and learn from those mistakes and, and really just figure it out as you go. Um, so what are some of the things that you do to create an environment where making mistakes is okay? Well, we, we learn from our mistakes and we celebrate the, uh, the mistakes, but we also celebrate the successes. Uh, the most important thing is that when we try and cross-skill people and we try and give them the opportunity to learn different disciplines within digital, that they get given the opportunity to try them out firsthand. So we, we encourage people to blog, we encourage them to you know try their hand at different types of things, but most importantly, it's something that we do together. So it's never something that we set people up for failure. We, we try and plan it as much as we possibly can. We do it at small scale. And when things work, we, we push it up and we ramp it up and we get excited about it. When it doesn't work, we kind of look at it and say, where can we learn? What, what could we do differently? Would it work differently if we did it this way? And that's really just the only way that we do. So, you know, you try to fail, you know, with small little projects. And if something does work, you scale it up. Do you, do you have an example of that where, where something maybe the first try didn't work very well on a small scale and then you learned from it and, and, and you were, were able to make it bigger? Um, the, the first thing that we did, um, the, the clip that I showed where you saw how we turned around the, the complaint into a conversion with Judith, that was, that was a lot of trial and error that went into that. We, we took a long time to get that right. Um, the most important thing there was just to be able to learn to shut up and listen to what the consumers were saying. Um, we, we listened for a very long time. I think we had three years worth of listening to understand what the, what the consumers were saying about uh, the brand, about the destination and what we were doing. Um, and we had to be very selective where we, where we were going to play. So there were a few hit and misses there, which uh, because of the scale you know, are negligible, but we learned every step of the way. And that was important to get us to where we were able to make some good successes. And, uh, and what's next for you and your team at uh, SIT? Well, the team's growing. Um, we, we're busy adding more uh, troops to the army, so there's a lot of work that's being done there now to find the right people. I think it's it's very hard to find the right people and put them in the right places to get them to do the right things. Um, our strategy is changing a little, so we have to be very mindful of that as well. But really, it's around user-generated content for us right now because we're seeing that travelers are doing a much better job of marketing our destination than, than we sometimes do. So that's that's where the emphasis is now being placed. That's a great quote. Um, so this is your second SOMI T. You were with us in Australia. Now you're here in Europe. Um, what do you think of this conference and how does it compare with Australia? I'm still trying to get you know used to the ice cream headache effect when you leave <laughs> the comfort of the of the rooms. Um, it, it's great. It's awesome to see that uh, even in Australia and in Europe that there are very similar things that people are, are grappling with and struggling to to get solutions on. I think um, given the opportunity for people to get into a room like the the environment that you guys have created makes it great for people to learn. Um, it's a it's an awesome opportunity to to hear what other people are saying and and you know see what they're doing. Um, I loved some of the presentations yesterday just with regards to how using um, you know, creative uh, crowdsourcing was interesting for me, um, um, seeing what Chris is doing, uh, pushing the, you know, the, the Queensland tourism stuff to the next level with uh, the room 753573, um, a lot of really cool things that are being done and I think more than anything it, it helps me to kind of calibrate what we are doing. You know, um, it's awesome to know that we, we're kind of paying t attention to the same types of things and learning from each other which is really 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 cool and and of course finally uh, you're here all the way from south africa in the arctic circle in rovaniemi in finland so what do you think of the destination I, i'm totally surprised by it i'm blown away i think everyone when we when we saw that uh, so many tea is going to be here we we're like what on earth are we going to be doing there it's it's really been spectacular i think um i love the way the destination has completely owned the santa um, so that's really encouraging to see. Um, but as a place, the people are amazing. The place has been uh, spectacular. The venue is unbelievable, and it's yeah, it's it's the the next best thing for me from Australia. And I thought Australia was the best conference I've ever attended. So, all right, thank you very much, William.